Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me Mika. I'm so glad you guys are joining me today and of course, happy President's Day. I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. But I got a very good haul on a few things and I want to share with you. Sorry for all the movement, I'm sharing time with my baby. You want to say hi? Come say hi. Say hi. Hi. I'm going to show you my clothes. Oh. <laughs> So this is my lovely Carrington and if you want to see the things that I've gotten Carrington and Samia stay tuned we'll see you in a little bit alrighty guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna show you guys with some of the things that I got for Carrington um, and of course I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning so I will say it now everything came from Walmart so this is my Walmart haul um, it's actually the last haul that I think I'm going to be doing for winter for my children um, but some of these things of course I couldn't pass up and um, if I've gotten them a size bigger of course they can definitely grow into it for the next year um, my kids are with me so if you hear them in the background just say hey it's family time for me today so we're gonna so, get started with Carrington and um, I got these little velour pants for him they're little camouflage pants in gray, black, and charcoal, and they have the cargo pockets on the side. And um, he is in between a 2T and a 3T right now. He is a big boy. They say he's almost 2. And I actually got this in a 2T. So this is his, and this was on sale for $3.50. also got him a few sets of fleece pajamas. Um, they were actually $3 a piece. And I thought that was a pretty good deal um, for the winter pajamas. I know they will probably go down a little bit more. <laughs> but I wanted to get him a few because no. as you guys saw in the intro, he does have it on now in the Minions. So I got him the fleece pajama set in the Ninja Turtles, which is his favorite currently. And here are the pants. This is just a solid pants to go with it. And I got this in the size 4 5. So he can definitely grow into that. And of course, it's Walmart. The next so set I have is actually a set that I kind of put together for myself. So this is the sweatshirt that I got him. It was a graphic sweatshirt. Um, this was actually 388. And I believe I got this in a 3T. Yes, I did. I got it in a size 3T. And to make it a set, I actually got this pair of drawstring wide leg pants. Um, this is in a 3T as well. It's not a true drawstring, but it's kind of cute for the design. And it's just a wide leg pant, and I got this in a 3T as well. This was $2.50. So that was his uh, set. Last set that I got him actually was bought on two separate occasions. Uh, this was also another graphic t-shirt. This one was on sale for $2.50. I got it in a 3T. And then I got him the matching sweatpants, which is the tapered leg at the bottom. And I got this in a 3T to I match found as a well. few things that's actually kind of gearing to springtime. So I picked those up as well. And they were honestly just a dollar. So I was excited for those. So here I have the first pair of just graphic shorts. It does have the cargo pockets on the side. And these were one dollar. I have these cargo shorts with the cargo pockets. These were one dollar. This is actually at a 5T, so maybe with the diaper or maybe a pull-up, he may be able to fit that next summer. I'm not sure, but if not, he'll definitely be able to grow into it. The best thing about these, it has little uh, belt loops. He does have a belt, so we can put a belt on him just in case we need something to match him. I also got this pair of like cargo pants. I love these pants because if you can see, there's a little button them into shorts. Or you can leave them long for pants. So I thought that was a pretty good springtime, you know, little piece. So I got that for just a dollar. And then lastly, um, this is just this little pair of sweatpants I have that were $2.50 in a 3T. So, you know, I know he has something in his closet that will match this maroon. We'll see once I put those up. So I and got last him some spring shoes. Um, there are low tops. And I got these in a size 7. And these were $2. then lastly for the pool, of course, we are water babies. Um, I got him some little clogs and these were a dollar so that was pretty good and um, that's all I got for Carrington today from Walmart so I was really excited and I believe I got all of those items underneath $20 so pretty good variety to say I have a boy who's rough and tough with so his stay outfits, tuned and I'm going to show you some things that I got for my little princess Samia <laughs> So these are some of the separate items that I have for Samia. For her. The first thing that I got for her was a pair of camouflage uh, ankle length tights. These were $1.50 and she has a bright pink sweatshirt. Uh, pretty much about this shade of pink here. 
that this will go pretty well with. And of course, I'm always pairing her with lace socks. Graphic tea. She's on the long weekend. sleeve graphic tee. Excuse me. This is for what we got her. The long sleeve tee in 5T. And I got the tapered leg sweatpants for $2.50 for her to wear with that shirt. Then I got her at this set for her to wear with her brother when they're all camoed out. And I just couldn't pass this up. I thought that was really cute. This was a 5T. This was also $2.50. And I got her sweatpants, the taper leg, in this color pink for $2.50. That's also in a 5T. And then I got this uh, graphic sweatshirt. This was really cute. This is in a 5T. It has a taper sleeve and also a tapered uh, bottom here. That was on sale for $2.50. And then lastly for Samia, I got her two separate uh, graphic sweatpants that she can wear. They both are tapered at the bottom in 5T. They both were $2.50. She's got the springtime roses and of course like mommy she loves cheetah print so I got her this pair for $2.50 as well. And that's all I got for my little princess. So for once I actually got more things for Carrington on this sale than I did Samia which is a rarity. I always get more things for Samia. So um, I also got some shoes for Samia and I will show you those in a second. So these are the two pair of tennis that I got for Samia. They're both low rides, appropriate for springtime and summer. Um, it almost looks like a Nike Air, Air Max shoe. I thought it was really cute with this detailing here. But I actually got her these in a size 2. Right now she's in a size 13 slash 1. But she, um, I could not pass so these up fast. for dollars They're really, really cute. And she loved them. Actually, she said, oh, look, I have teenage shoes. I don't know what that meant to her, but I guess she meant big girl shoes. So these are her first pair. And then lastly, I got her a pair of, <laughs> this is like a knockoff Chuck Taylor, but I thought it was really cute. And for her to wear it to school, she scuffs them up. So with it being black, I'm not too afraid of them getting dirty. So she's got her pair of these. And this is also in um, a size one. So we got those. And these were three dollars as well and that's all I got for my little princess so she's going to be styling just for those last few days in winter time and stay tuned I'm going to show you a few things that I got for myself um, as most of you know I am in the process of trying to um exercise more and um I do suffer with the flat foot unfortunately and I do suffer with RSD which is reflex sympathetic dystrophy in my left leg so I have to be extremely cautious with some of the shoes that I do wear so that I can ensure comfort but also shock absorption for a certain exercise that I do and also for the longevity of me standing up for my job so I got some shoes for comfort and I also got a few for style so let me go ahead and show you the ones that I got the first pair is actually my workout shoes and I got this this is the Avia from Walmart and it's a breathable mesh shoe of course um, and it says it's molded insole for support and comfort it does not have a memory foam but as you can see on the inside it does have like a rubber insole so um, it is very very soft it does have really nice arch support and um, just as I said in the description it's a breathable mesh so it will kind of eliminate my foot from sweating and um, that will help the shoe to not get you know mosey on the inside or that you know workout sweaty smell so um but they are machine washable which is what i love about this and i got them in the black and pink and these were three dollars so i was excited and i also got the same shoe in and black it's the exact white. same shoe um just a different color but you can see the rubber and sole and these were also $3 and then lastly as well. for my workout shoes i also got this pair of dancing and these were three dollars as well and i got them in the teal it does and have gray. a pretty good arch support on the inside and nine times out of ten with this especially being a thin and so this will probably use for like aerobics or some of my step exercises that i do um on this tag it says lightweight running so i'll be able to use these for that and these were three dollars as well now for my fashion shoes, of course these are shoes just for fashion. Um, of course if I have like a little cute outfit for springtime or whatever, but not to wear on a day where I know I'll be constantly The first pair I got are my imitation Chuck Taylors and these are the white. They match Samia's and these were actually a splurge for me. Um, they were regularly $13 and I got so them for 7 in all white. I'm so excited. I think it's going to look so cute with like a denim skirt or something. So we'll see what I wear them with. 
And then lastly, I got this pair, uh, which was $5. I thought they were three, but they were five. In the navy um, I have been keeping my eye on these galoshes for a while now. They were regularly, I believe, $11, and they were marked all the way down to five. And I got this pair. It's just a low-rise ring galoshes. And um, I thought they were really kind of stylish, um, especially for me going to church. Um, but, okay, they were... They were $9.88, which was not bad. So I kind of got them for half off. Um, and they were $5. And they have the elastic on the side. It is, you know, low cut. I don't need to hide things in the springtime with the temperatures being the way that they are. But I got these two for those rainy days where we will be trekking to pick Samia up or just running some errands out in those rainy days. So, now, I have yes. had a pair of gloves for um, the winter time to match my... Um, my pea coat that I've had and unfortunately with me constantly getting my nails done now they are growing out as you guys can see um but unfortunately I poked a hole in it <laughs> so and they were just a dollar so I wasn't too heartbroken or anything but um I actually found these and look how cute these are they are so precious they have the little bow on them and it's white and black perfect to go with my gray white and black headband but the good thing about these guys not only they were just a dollar but they do have on the thumb and the index finger where you can use it for your cell phone. So of I can course it goes with up. my white puffer coat that I love to wear and also my charcoal gray um, pea coat jacket, excuse me, that I have as well. So I love these and just for a dollar I can not to be TMI up. or anything, but I did find some really good deals on some bras. And I want to show you these guys. They were actually t-shirt bras and I had to get these colors. I thought this was really fun for springtime. I got a tie-dye and a teal, and I also got a heather gray, which is really nice. And this is actually the push-up bra. And then my last style is just my comfies, my go-tos, um, and this is the t-shirt bra. And um, as you can see, this design is actually a racer back. So I can wear this, as you can see, in a solid purple just regularly, or I can make it a racer back with I have my cute little tank tops and hide those straps in the pink as it's shown here and those two packs were five dollars this is not a push-up bra this is just a t-shirt bra so I got those two packs for five so what girl cannot go to Walmart and go to the drugstore department where they sell the cosmetics I was lucky today I was happy I wasn't looking for anything because I kind of have my stash kind of where I wanted got to be some new things from elf hey, and it's the elf ultimate kabuki brush it's great for blending highlighting contouring and stippling I was so excited Excited to see this today guys I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come into the stores I was this close to ordering it online but I'm glad so now I don't have to pay shipping and if something is just not what I want it to be up to the standards for this guy um, as far as shedding or if I don't like the way it applies my makeup um, I can always just bring it back to Walmart so I got this today and I was so excited to see this finally the contouring brush so this was um it, this has been on my to-do hey, list for oh. a long time I and then lastly i got three things that were on clearance and this is the makeup remover pen i love this especially for you know cleaning up those eyes uh, with the eyeshadows and also if i get any mascara on the lid um this is really good really for cleaning excited it off. about this and this was on sale for a dollar fifty and i got my springtime flawless eyeshadow in party purple I thought that was really pretty. This was only a dollar. So that was really good. And then lastly, um, I got another of the Almond Flawless Finish Foundation with the SPF 15 sunscreen for $3. This was regularly $6. So I got this for half off. And I got that as well. And that's all I got for the makeup line. So I was excited about that just to add to my collection. And as you guys may notice, I have a lot of e.l.f. products. I really love them. They're very affordable. And it does last pretty well, I have to say, for the price that it is. So I was lucky to find these guys. Even though I wasn't looking, like I said before. But I'm glad I can add these guys to my collection. So last, but definitely a Lysol Nutra Air Sanitizing Spray in Rejuvenating Morning Linen. With my kiddos under the weather and with me being OCD and a germaphobe, I'm spraying everything. And this smells absolutely amazing. It does feel like springtime when I walk in my front room now. It smells really, really good. 
And then for the bathrooms, I actually got two of these guys. These, of course, are 97 cents. And I got the Blooming Peony and Cherry in the Glade Spray. And this smells so good. I just want to eat it, just like a cherry it snowball. It smells really good. So these are the, the two newest scents that I have, and I'm excited to have my house smell like springtime as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my haul. This is my post winter haul pre springtime haul and i really had fun shopping today on this president's day sale so i hope you guys enjoy your holidays and we'll be seeing each other soon take care and keep those eyes out for those sales love ya bye bye bye